Bootstrap includes classes for laying out forms and working with the labels and controls in a form. There's a couple different form layouts. Uh, the one that um, we'll be using is just class equal form. It kind of looks like this, uh, but you can also do your forms in line. Or if you don't like how either one of those look, you can actually kind of use the columns with the row to format the form however you want it to look. Okay, so I've got examples of all three. And remember, we will be doing this in Django, but for your regular web apps, you can use Bootstrap too. Uh, some standard conventions for the controls that we that you typically would use in a bootstrap form. Uh, you're going to wrap your labels and form controls in a class called form group. Uh, that is for optimum spacing. And then for your controls, uh, you will add form control. And this would be for like your input tags and text area and select elements. And then for the labels, you add a class of form label. Uh, some additional information on using Bootstrap with your form elements. So for HTML5 form elements, uh, Bootstrap supports input, text area, checkbox, radio, and select. And so there's a little different way of implementing checkboxes and radio buttons. So for input select and text area, uh, you would use the form group, form label, and form control that I mentioned. For checkboxes and radio buttons, uh, you will do them a little different. And this, it just depends on uh, if you want them uh, horizontal or vertical. So for the container, you're either going to use form check or form check in line. And in line, of course, is horizontal. Uh, and then for your label, you would do form check label. And then for the elements themselves, you would use form check input. Okay, and so I did give you a couple examples. Uh, just so you can see how you might implement these in a form. And what we're going to be doing is modifying our login form uh, using Bootstrap. So I'm going to switch over to VS Code, and I'm going to open up my login. It's been a while since I've looked at this, but I believe it is under Users, Templates, Registration. Here it is. And so we will keep this first statement because that pulls it into that main template that has our navigation system. And then above the block content, we're going to do a block page header. Okay, and then we will uh, get into the block content and make some modifications there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. Uh, this is all in your book, so you can kind of follow along in the book. And when I come back, I'll explain to you what I did. So I made the uh, adjustments, and you can see that we loaded in Bootstrap. We've got our little header up here, uh, and then down here in the content area, uh, we added class equal form. Uh, we added Bootstrap form here. This is from uh, Django Bootstrap. And then we added a little section for the button and we 
use the bootstrap classes here to format our button. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And we should be able to see this in the running app as well if we went to the login page. So let me pull this over here. Okay, so here is the formatting.